another case of too many self-inflicted wounds here tonight, Coach? Well, I think uh, there's two ways of looking at it. I, I thought we had a good effort. I thought we, we played, pro we won the specialty team games. For thought our penalty killing was good. We got a power play goal. Uh, you know, out of the first four goals, we gave them two. So, like, to me, those are things we could correct. Like, you know, we got the puck five feet inside the blue line. We don't get it out. We turn it over. It ends up in our net. So those, those are things that we got to learn. Uh, we got to be patient. I thought we played really well for two periods. And then in the third, like, once they got ahead, then, you know, we, we just sell the farm. But, I, I, you know, I, I can't blame the effort. I think we, we had a good effort. It's just we got to have better performance of certain guys. But we can't give those goals up. Challenge for you and your staff trying to sell those positives going into the next game. Well, I think uh, you know, like uh, you got a choice. You know, <laughs> either you know, either sulk or you, you're gonna you know take it and uh, be a man and uh, want to get better. I mean, like that's there's no choice. I mean, like uh, you know, we've got some good talent. We just got to play, learn to play without the puck. You know, be more efficient without the puck. I mean, like uh, we make it too easy for the opposition. You say you can't fault the effort in the third period, but how do you explain how things got away from the team? Well, I think we, you know, we they, they scored right in the first minute of the third period. Then they got, then they won. They got ahead. Then you know, we, we revert to we're trying to get the goal. We we cheat. We don't do as good defending, and uh, you know it cost us. But I think the game was lost to me uh, in the first two periods when we gave those two goals that we shouldn't have gave because you know we should have had the puck out of our zone. We we got to be better at. You know, we go back, we have chance of moving the puck quickly, get out, we take it back, you know, D to D, take it back. Can't play that way. When the team's now lost four in a row on an important road trip, how do you keep the morale high? Well, I, I, you know, I think uh, you just bring the positive points and uh, you keep teaching. I think, uh, you know, we have some talent. Uh, we just got to, you know, there's positive points. Special teams were good tonight, both penalty killing and power play. We had some chances. Uh, and I thought for two periods we were very good. So we just we just got to keep hammering away and getting learn how to play away from the puck. You're sensing a lot of frustration from the team. Well, maybe like in the end, but uh, that's part of like you know people care. That's you know I, I don't mind that. That's fine. Tomorrow's another day, and you got to look at the bright side of things. Is the team mature enough to do some inner soul searching. Well, I think, you know, at some point you got to mature. That That's part of the business. I mean, they're professionals. So they're learning to be professional at the same time. You know, so I think, you know, it's uh, we'll have a good meeting tomorrow when we get to Buffalo. Uh, we'll discuss things and uh, we'll go from there. You had a conversation, too, at some point with Don Kubelik in the game. What were you saying to him? Well, I can't remember now, but... Uh, I think it's just, you know, like I, I think was a situation where uh, we had just scored the goal and uh, he was late on the back check. So we gave him, we gave them a great opportunity. They could have tied. So you got to learn to play away from the puck. Well, what, do you, what would you say about this game here tonight? Uh, I mean, there's not much to be said. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, uh, you guys know how we feel and um, you know what? There's there's some good times, there's some bad times, and uh, at the end of the day, it's just it, it's it's another loss. Third period, of just a, a glaring example of the fragility that this team has right now. How fragile it can be. Yes and no. I mean, at the end of the day, it's yes, it is. We're going through tough times, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's the few of those goals that um, we're giving it to them, and and that's. Um, I think everybody's aware of that in this room, and um, unless we, we're going to have to just keep on working away and fixing those. When it is self-inflicted, is it all about looking at yourselves in the mirror? Yeah, I mean, saying? there's there's nobody else to look around. There's nobody else to blame. There's not um, one guy better than anybody else in this team. There's um, we're on this situation. We're uh, we're all losing games together, and at the end of the day, the only way we're going to get through this is is by being with each other, I mean, um, at the end of the day, losing, losing sucks. There's nothing worse uh, than that, and um, the only way out is is by sticking together and making it happen together. Thomas, when you guys score, the other team seems to just kind of pounce on you guys. It, it seems like you have a lapse in in focus. Is that how you guys sense things? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, at the end of the day, when we score a goal, you're looking to have a strong shift after, and then. 
when you get score right away after it's 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 not good and I mean everybody's aware of that and um, you know what at the end of the day it's 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 about it's about us in here and there's there's nothing else to there's nothing else to be said I mean it's simple as that it's it's this group of guys it's us that go out there and play the games we can um, do video we can do systems whatever it might be I mean at the end of the day it's us going out there and ex executing the game plan. You know what? At the end of the day, it's trying to trying to find positives and um, and you know what? Like I said, I repeat myself, but it's it's you lose another game and it's all of us in here and it's 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 not even nobody else to look around. You don't look at the guy next to you or the guy uh, in front of you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's you looking at yourself in the mirror and that's it. Clearly, things aren't getting any easier here, um, and the solutions aren't very simple. What can you say about tonight's game? Uh, Jesus, I mean, I don't know, like, I thought special teams was pretty good, which we haven't had in a while. And, uh, you know, we have a lead going into third, and it just is, uh, it's a tough one to swallow. I mean, I, I just, I mean, unacceptable. Like, we just have to find a way to win that game. Is there a growing sense of the fragility that collectively everybody's going through here right now? Yeah, I mean, we win as one, we lose as one. And it's just, it's just frustrating. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I wish I had the answers for us as a group. I think, you know, it can be really hard to stay positive um, at times, but we're really left with no other option. We just need to continue to put the work boots on and and uh, find a way out of this hole. But um, yeah, it's just all of us as a group in here, we just need to pull in the same direction and find a way out of it. Jacob, there was one of the goals in the third period where you were just shaking your head. What was going through your, mo your head in that moment? <laughs> the fifth one just, I don't know, just a odd man rush against that I just try to slide out of the way for Corpy to see it and kind of take the guy going to the backside and I mean it just hits me I'm like three feet wide of the net it just hits me and drops to the guy so I don't know it's just frustrating when it rains it pours so Thomas Shabbat mentioned you're trying to focus on the positive you mentioned the power play what are the other positives that you can try to take from this to at least keep the morale high well, first two periods were pretty good. Like, you know, there's obviously stuff that we, you know, would like to look at and get better at in those two periods. But overall, like, pretty good and have a lead going into third. So, you know, the, the room was energized and feeling good about the way we were playing on a, you know, a road game here in Calgary and just went out in the third and blew it. I mean, it's just as simple as that.